hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be part four of my eyeshadow collection video and slight declutter and um, so i've done part one two and three which i will link in the description box and also um you can get it on the playlist i will link that as well i do have a makeup collection playlist in this video we're gonna have a lot of palettes that i haven't tried um before some of my newer eyeshadow palettes that i've recently hauled so i haven't had a chance to try quite a few of the palettes that you're gonna see in this video um i'm not gonna declutter too much i don't think um and to be honest it's not really a declutter series it's more like a collection update a collection video so let's just jump right in so the first palette is the jacqueline hill dark magic palette so i recently repurchased this and added this to my collection again i did buy the entire vault the collection when it first released but I, I received one of the duds. So yeah, I did uh, pick it up again and I have swatched some of the shimmer shades and it does perform a lot better than the original that I have. So I'm quite happy to have this back in my collection. I also picked up Bling Boss. Bling Boss as well swatched really nicely again. So I'm really, really happy to have these two back in my collection. Then I do have a lot of Morphe shadows. I do enjoy Morphe's quality for the most part. So I do have a lot of the eyeshadow palettes. Plus I'm on their PR list as well. Um, so I do receive some eyeshadow palettes from them. So this one is the 18F Talking Flirty palette. So this is the 18F Talking Flirty palette. I have swatched this palette. I haven't used it on my eyes yet. But I have swatched it. It's a beautiful balance of neutrals and purple pinks. And it's just really, really stunning palette. Next up, I've got the 18B Making Bank palette. And I haven't used this yet. But there's this babe on Instagram called Han St. Luce. She uses this palette all the time and she's one of the people that really made me feel like I needed this palette and yeah, I'm so happy I have it. I love these tones and I definitely want to invest my time in doing a lot of a lot more Morphe looks, um, both on my Instagram and also on YouTube, but I do love this eyeshadow palette. So I haven't used it, but it's stunning. I really love the 18 pan eyeshadow palettes. I think they're really, really good easy to use palettes and they don't feel overwhelming next is the 18s palette so this one has a pressed glitter in 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 the palette which is just there but the colors are stunning you've got neutrals underneath you've got this beautiful berry color it's got shimmer particles in it so again haven't used it but these are like newer purchases in my collection then i've got a couple of natasha denona palettes so as i said in part three natasha denona did a beautiful sale i mean it's, it was just beautiful beautiful sale on um on black friday so i did purchase quite a bit of her palettes first is the love palette which looks like this. I haven't used it, but I've heard great things about these palettes. I really love the midi palettes. They're just so easy to use. And I can see so many different looks and I don't feel like the palette is overwhelming. Plus it does have a good size mirror and it's just so gorgeous. So I think I can let go of the packaging. The next one is the Sunrise palette. Oh, this one is even more beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. This is what it looks like. Again, I purchased these on Black Friday, so I haven't used them. Next up is the Glam Palette. So I purchased this before Black Friday. I want to say that I purchased this one uh, a couple of weeks after it was released. And I got it from Cult Beauty because it's just right up my alley. It's a cool tone palette i really want to use it alongside the sultry palette from abh but the shimmers are just they look stunning so yes this palette i 
and then I also picked up the sunset palette so um, I got this one and the Bieber palette for half price and I've been wanting this palette I really want the Metropolis palette as well so I'm just gonna wait till she does sale to just pick up any of her palettes but Nat Natasha Denona quality is just amazing so got this so next up I've got the new I Heart Revolution Total Heartbreaker palette I recently just um, hauled this and I haven't obviously I haven't used it but it's a beautiful neutral palette you've got some pressed pigments in there and yeah it's stunning really love the heart pans and then this is the new Ofra palette that's releasing in January and this one is called the good to go palette I really want to use this on Instagram and maybe review it on YouTube let me know what you guys think but I really love that green in there I just feel like you need to have an accompanying palette at least for me but it's stunning and that highlighter is gorgeous so that one's called all of the lights yeah very easy inexpensive palette very light and easy to travel with and then i recently received the 35b lisa frank collaboration with morphe they recently sent this to me in pr so i haven't used it but this is what the packaging looks like it's just so pretty i remember these claps type of notebooks when i was in school everyone wanted it because it just made you so cool so this is what it looks like so I got mine, the one with the um, little cub on it, this one I got. <clears throat> it comes with a mirror and it comes with somewhere where you can sign that it belongs to you. And this is the color story. It's just the usual 35B colors. That's what it looks like. I haven't used it. I will. The packaging is so cute, but it's so thick and bulky. I'm definitely going to need to get rid of it, but the packaging is just, it's lovely, but it's too thick. <laughs> Taking up too much space. Next up, I've got another eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, and this one is the Avocado Toast Palette. And this is what it looks like. I haven't used this one, but this is green and brown. If you're looking for a green eyeshadow palette that isn't just full-on green, You've got some complimentary tones. The packaging is very reflective, which is a little bit distracting, but I've heard great things about this palette, so quite excited to give it a go. Next up, we've got a couple of smaller palettes, so the nine pan palettes from Morphe. This is the 9G Oh My Gorge eyeshadow palette, and this one has like a brown with some shimmers, green purple like or um aubergine kind, kind of color very nice haven't used it obviously <laughs> next up i've got the 9k khaki colin palette this is the one that i preferred over the huda beauty khaki palette and this is what it looks like it is a green color story but it isn't all green it's just green with some complementary brown shades that will make stunning eye looks so quite excited to try that as well i really love these nine pan palettes as well they're so easy to use such a fan next up i've got the nine eye like so iconic palette this is the one with the blue shade i have used this one quite lightly it's got that blue shade but it's a cool tone neutral eyeshadow palette and I love it so a couple more nine pans so next up I've got the 9L Lavanda Lavande's eyeshadow palette um, I wish that these ones with the colored boxes came purple or green or whatever but this is what this one looks like on the inside it's a full purple themed palette And then I've got the 9J Just a Crush palette. 
these were so inexpensive when i picked them up i think they were like five pounds or something morphe was doing some serious sales you just had to catch them at the right time and this is like a mauve pink color story i really love this this is the kind of pink i would be happy to wear next up i've got the 9w smoke shadow palette this is the one i've had my eye on on morphe but i was just so adamant i wasn't going to pay 12 pounds for it so i waited till it was five pounds and this is the one that's got grays and blacks and brown and cool tone shadows reminds me of the urban decay um smoke eyeshadow palette and i've got two more so i've got the 90 neutral territory palette i believe i have a tutorial here on youtube using this palette this is the cooler this is the warmer tone neutral palette i believe because then we also no this is the cooler tone neutral eye palette because the 9d is the painted desert palette and these two came out together and it looks like that so that's that one they make really good accompanying palettes i quite like them and i've used them quite a bit very easy to use as well Next up, I've got another 18 uh, pan eyeshadow palette. This one is the 18T Truth or Bear palette. Yeah, so I've done a review. Uh, I've done a makeup tutorial, like a date night makeup tutorial when we first went into lockdown um, here on my YouTube channel. And I do love this palette. It's very, very easy to use and very blendable. Next up from BH Cosmetics, I picked up the Naughty and the Nice eyeshadow palettes during the Beauty Bay sales. And this is the Nice palette. To be honest, in my defense, this looked a lot bigger on Beauty Bay. But then when it arrived, the pan sizes are so small. I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this. But I am going to test it out on my eyes first. And if I don't like it, I will declutter it because it's so little. But the color story is gorgeous. And then I recently hauled the on the run the urban decay on the run eyeshadow palette which looks like this so this is the ud bond to run palette i haven't used this some of you have asked me to go ahead and still review this and just talk to you guys as to why people love it <laughs> i'm quite curious myself so i probably will still do that um because i'm very late to picking this up I haven't had it in my collection. I literally picked it up during Black Friday. So I've got that. Then a couple more big palettes from Morphe. Right, so I've got a couple of bigger palettes from Morphe. This is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I've used this quite a bit. This is what it looks like. Neutral tones, pinks, purples. I love this palette. Jacqueline did an amazing job with this color story and the pigmentation is just stunning. I'm so gutted I didn't use it as much as I wanted to but I am definitely going to be pulling this out. And then this is one of my favorite neutral palettes and I don't know why a lot of people don't like it but this is a 35G bronze gold palette. This is when they came out in this packaging, came with a bronzer and everything. And I love mine. I've been using it off camera quite a lot. Admittedly, the shimmer shades are a little stiffer, but it's still so pretty and so pigmented. And I still really enjoy the looks that I create with it. So definitely keeping that. Right, so I've got a couple of newer palettes from Morphe that are so good this year. One is the collaboration with Madison Bear. This is a standard neutral palette, but honey, the pigmentation of this palette and the ease of, the ease of use just makes it a well-rounded, very easy and very beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette. I just wish that the names were printed on the packaging, being that it's a collaboration palette. But I'm not mad at it because they, they fit in quite a lot of shadows in this little palette. And it just makes it really easy to use and very easy to travel with. And I love the pigmentation. That's one of my faves from Morphe this year. Next up is the Maddie Ziegler Imagination Palette. 
again another collaboration and another well executed eyeshadow palette from morphe you can see that they printed the names on this one but it is bigger than the madison bear one and the colors in this palette are stunning very pigmented very easy to use they swatch beautifully and the looks that i created using this palette were just stunning i'm definitely going to be dipping into this one this year the 24a artist pass palette this one was another collaboration with uh saweetie i think i believe and this one came out during coachella time but uh, obviously Coachella didn't happen because Kravy did <laughs> but I did <clears throat> enjoy the looks that I created with this I wasn't a fan of this like shimmer shade this pressed glitter shade in the middle and a lot of the glitter shades but in terms of the matte shadows I created a colorful look and I also created a neutral look and it's so stunning that color looks so understated but I can just see like different looks being created with this palette so i definitely need to get into using it a bit more this one was one of my favorite 35 pound palettes from morphe this year and this is the 35c everyday chick palette i created a look on instagram using this i combined pink and green and it just looked so pretty and i love the background of the packaging as well just a really really stunning palette i really love this color story and then this is the 35m bus mood palette this is one of the best morphe palettes hand down hands down and this is the one that i said the technique eyeshadow palette in marrakesh is like a dupe for it look at that color story tell me this doesn't scream everyday gorgeousness the colors are just absolutely stunning and i have used this one quite a bit and i reached into it a lot this year actually next up i've got the 35h hotspot palette this is new as well i purchased this during the black friday sale and this is the one that is a split palette so you've got blues you've got neutral and then you've got oranges and so it's just very pretty cool tone warm tone battle next this one is newer again i haven't had the chance to use it but this is the morphe x Nikita eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like and the reviews i've seen using this palette people really love it so I quite I'm I'm quite interested in what it performs like. So there's so many things I want to do this year. I want to do a week of this, a week of that. So hopefully I will be able to balance my time and be able to do those types of videos that I really want to do. So this is the 39A Dare to Create palette. I did have the James Charles palette, actually the mini and the big version, and I gave it away. So I still have the 35A one. Mine came slightly damaged, but that's fine. This is what it looks like. To be honest, this one is more up my alley. I prefer the darker colors as opposed to like the really bright, colorful shades. And I don't care if there are so many browns. I feel like they're layering colors, they're blending colors. And yeah, it just works really nice for me. I'm quite happy with this one so I kept this and I got rid of all the James Charles palettes that I I had next up I've got the sample beauty palette so this is the painters palette by Beth painter I haven't used this on my eyes but I have swatched this quite a few times and done a few arm swatches again make sure you check my swatch page if you're interested in swatches but this color story is very pretty and the pigmentation so far is very impressive and i love how easy the palette is to use it's quite small in my opinion for the amount of shades that you get and i i just love i love the color selection in it and then here is the bh cosmetics naughty palette i had a few video ideas in my mind for christmas but you know life always has 
other things planned but this is one of the best bh cosmetics palettes i've ever come across i've swatched this on my arm a few times i've done a few arm swatches on instagram and it always comes out looking bomb with no base or anything and the color story is just so grown up and so pretty next up i've got the jacqueline hill eyeshadow palette so this is the first one i did have the original but i gifted that to my sister so i picked up another one for morphe and from what people are saying that the um quality is different blah 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 i don't know i haven't used it so i can't say if it's any different but i just know that i was missing it in my collection and so i repurchased it again and i'm hoping to use it a lot more that color sissy is what i used to use as a highlighter same with little lady they double up as highlighters as well which just makes it a really really pretty palette for me i've got the 24m main event palette this is the one in collaboration with mama mitchell and another artist i can't remember who but this is what it looks like they came out with bags brushes yeah it's a whole moment and i haven't used it and some of these shades these shades at the bottom that you can spritz some water and they become like liquid liners and stuff so quite interesting isn't it but the color story is <gasps> breathtaking mine came slightly damaged but you know what we move i just love i love the packaging so pretty next up is the morphe x jeffree star palette i picked this palette up for next to nothing and from the reviews i've seen there's always mixed opinions some people like the formula some people don't like the formula to be honest i was just hunting for the green shades at the bottom don't really care much for the pinks but the roll, these two rolls here, up my alley. So I still haven't used it. And I bought this eyeshadow palette ages ago. Um, when Morphe announced that they're no longer in support of Jeffree Star. And so they slashed everything on their website. I picked this up for like maybe a tenner or something. Really, really inexpensive. And then I've got the 3503 Fierce by Nature palette is what this one looks like it's basically a neutral palette why i picked this one up i don't know because if you cover these two shadows it's literally an orange palette <laughs> which is just crazy to me but um i felt the need to have it so here we are so next up i've got the book of shades from colored rain this is just really an empty eyeshadow palette and you just put in some shadows so i've got some mac shadows some makeup geek shadows some coastal scent shadows some colored rain shadows i've got so many shadows but i just literally arrange them in pinks and reds and then you've got greens transformational shades some purples i'm missing a shade over there don't know where it is and then you've got like your neutrals cool tone neutrals and that's basically how i arranged mine so i really love the way i put mine together and i do plan on having this on my vanity because it's just easy to reach into so very handy from color drain next up i purchased this from CK Max, they were doing a sale on their makeup products and I've seen this Zoeva, um, what's it called? I always forget the name. This Zoeva Plaza uh, box. I've seen it in so many places at different and ridiculous prices. I got mine from TK Max for tenner for $9.99. So this is what it looks like and it comes with three eyeshadows in it. So this one is the Caramel Milanage, which looks like that. Very, very pretty. It's pretty light, but there are some shadows in there that would work for me. And then I've got this one in Blank Fusion. This one's really nice and light as well but i do want to try zoeva palettes 
I don't have Zoeva palettes in my collection, so I felt the need to pick this up. Plus, it was £10. I just thought, better try it. And then this one is Coco Blend. This is the one that I feel I would get more use out of. Okay. Do I keep it in the box? I don't see me using the box. So I think I will get rid of the box. Next up, I've got this eyeshadow palette from Nabla. And this is the Cutie palette in Platinum. Comes in other colors as well. But to be honest, this is the only one that really, really jumps out at me. Because these shades are really up my alley. They're really cool tone shades. And that silver shade called Luxurance. Hold your breath. Look at that. Madness. Stunning. So I had to have it. Next up, I've got these two eyeshadow palettes from Mama Mitchell. I have a whole video um, dedicated to reviewing and showing you guys and swatching these eyeshadow palettes. So definitely check out my product review playlist. You'll find it in there. This one is called Feet on the Ground. This is one of my most exciting purchases of 2020. I really love Mama Mitchell and I'm so happy that he came out with his own palettes because they speak to me. And obviously 10 over 10 for packaging because this little bag protects your shadows. And then this one is Head in the Clouds. well gorgeous and then he also came out with the um volume two no he also came out with the volume one mini palette which makes me feel like there are a couple more coming soon and that's this one it's such a good accompanying palette for the other two eyeshadow palettes and in the review that I did, I used at least one shade from each palette to create my look. I also picked up the Sample Beauty Equalizer palette in volume 2. I enjoyed using this palette. The first time I used it, I was a little bit iffy because it did end up patching up in my outer corner. But I realized that with palettes like this, you kind of need a sticky base, not a wet base. So I changed my base and all was forgiven. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Plum, peachy colors, pinky colors as well. I love it. Next up, I've got the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette. This is not going anywhere. This is a limited edition palette. You can't even get it now. And I love it. It also came out, they also came out with a highlighter. I picked up the highlighter. I've got that in my collection. I use it quite a lot. This is the palette. I really love the tones. There are a lot of shades in here that I haven't used. So I'm hoping to get more use out of it this year. A lot of it, um, a lot of my Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes as well didn't get much love and use. But I do plan on using it. I mean, look at the packaging. Nothing beats this packaging, honestly. Like Urban Decay. This is such a good palette. I just need to remember to use it. But I do want to make a conscious decision to use a lot more of my Urban Decay palettes. I feel like I just put them to the wayside in 2020. Speaking of Urban Decay palettes, I've got quite a few. As I mentioned, I am an Urban Decay collector. <laughs> oh, well, I was. I'm no longer, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what they come out with. This one is the Vice XX Vice Limited Reloaded palette. Not much use out of it, to be honest. I haven't really used it that much, but the shades that I did use, I did enjoy. I think I can let go of do you think I can let go of the packaging I think I can let go of the packaging what do you guys think like I'm not gonna be giving anyone to use because some of them are quite old and then I've got the elements palette 
which looks like that. This one I have used quite a bit. Very pretty. Comes with a mirror. I will keep this one in its packaging. If not, it's just going to roll around. And then I've got the Alice in Wonderland one. I have used this one quite recently, actually, to, just to test it out. I still have the lipsticks, and I have used those lipsticks quite recently as well. And this is another beautiful, like when Urban Decay want to do packaging, they do packaging. Like that is stunning. And then when you pull it out, you've got the palette. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I will keep that. Then you've got the Urban Decay Vice palette. This is the Vice 3, I believe comes in a sleeve it's very reflective and that's what it looks like i love the colors i definitely need to use these more often honestly because i feel like they're on their last leg so either i use them or i get rid of them but i think i want to use them and then this one is vice 4 also comes in a sleeve this one i really liked when it came out the packaging is just so pretty and the colors are just so pretty as well next up i've got the shadow box palette now this is very very old and the only shadow i ever reach into in this palette is this blackout shade and it is super old I think I need to let it go because it is very, very old. So I think I will let this one go. Next, I've got the electric palette. This one as well, I'm going to let it go because it is very, very old. I will keep the brush, but I will declutter this. It's very old. And then I've got the Beach Eyeshadow Palette. This was a gift, so I will not be decluttering this. I have used this quite recently, and the pigmentation isn't there anymore, so maybe I should let it go because it's really not as pigmented, and plus the glass broke, and yeah, I think I will let it go. And then I've got the Stoned Vibes Palette. For the most part, I did enjoy this palette. It is quite new. It's a 2020 palette. And this is what it looks like. I've used mine quite a bit. It, they, they make really good topper shades. And these neutral shades are very, very pretty for everyday looks. So she's definitely staying in my collection. So next up, I've got the Naked palette. So I've got the Naked Cherry palette. And this is one of the palettes that made Urban Decay notice me. So I'm really, really happy and grateful that I did a Naked Ch Cherry series on my Instagram, which they really loved. So I'm definitely going to keep this palette because I do love it. I love the berry tones and I love the pigmentation. And then I've got the Naked Honey palette. This one, I didn't get to use it as much as I would love to. So I'm definitely going to be using this a little bit more this year. This one is a newer one and this is the Ultraviolet palette. And I did review this on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. But I will hang on to this. And then I've got the Naked Heat palette. I wish all their palettes came in a sleeve. But this is what this one looks like. People say that um, the looks tend to be the same when you use this palette. But I say just use a different base and you get a different outcome. So I'm going to keep this. Very easy everyday palette. And then I've got the Naked 3 palette. I call this like the bridal palette. Because on me the looks, like, the looks look like bridal type of makeup. I know it looks like nothing on camera but trust me very good <clears throat> now we're down to the last few 
right so next up i've got my be perfect palette so this is the be perfect clientele palette this is the collaboration with jar makeup artist i haven't used it it looks like this and it's pretty a few purple greens neutrals gray very nice all-round palette Next, you got the Carnival palette. This is the one, this is the first palette with Stacey Marie. Is this the first? Next, you've got the Carnival palette, which is a collaboration with Stacey Marie. Used maybe one shade in this entire palette. Not even touched the highlighters. It's terrible, people. Terrible. But I will use it. And then my recent one is the carnival 3 palette so it's such a beautiful color story i really love the greens and the pinks and the purples have i used it nope but i will use it i do love the color story and stacy marie makes really really good eyeshadow palettes like her collaborations have just been insanely beautiful so i'm so happy to have that in my collection and then i've got a couple of other palettes so this one is the nikki tutorials x beauty bay collaboration palette which looks like this this is what this one looks like so this is what it looks like and it's just basically night and day and i did mention this in um i'm not sure if it's part one or part two that when an eyeshadow palette comes broken, it always puts me off using it. My shade Amsterdam came broken and I did repress this eyeshadow palette. But as you can see, I haven't used this palette still. So I haven't formed an opinion about this collaboration. Um, but I know there are a lot of mixed reviews about it. But I just, I just haven't used mine yet. So I don't know what it's like. I am going to keep this because it's quite handy. So I haven't used mine. And then I have the big Carnival X Pro palette. So this is the Stacey Marie collaboration with Be Perfect. This is the one that's popular. A lot of people have this and use it. I have used it a few times as an accompanying palette for other eyeshadows. Because you do have a wide range of shadows in this palette. Which make really really good accompanying shades. But it's huge, it's here, it's proud, it's beautiful, and yeah. Next up, I've got this one from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Revolution Friends collaboration. This is um, Series 2. They came out with a range of eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Taxi palette, which is literally in the shape of a taxi. I did um, showcase this palette in my tutorial using the lobster palette and i did review this so like a first impression type of review and a few swatches of some of the shades but for the most part it looks like a cool tone everyday eyeshadow palette it is very shimmer heavy with only few matte shades so um yeah then i also have the Dull eyeshadow palette which again came out with series two that's what this one looks like that's i can get it in frame it's so awkward there you go that's what it looks like it's just a very pretty pinky purple eyeshadow palette the colors look really really pretty even on camera they look really really stunning it's just a really awkward palette but very pretty nonetheless if you're a friends fan then you're definitely gonna love these eyeshadow palettes wow so the last set of palettes i have are from p louise so this one is the p louise secret sinners palette so this is the inside of the secret sinners palette it's an all matte eyeshadow palette i haven't used it but it's absolutely stunning and then the waldy palette looks like this mixture of matte and shimmer shades new i haven't used it either this is the P. Louise's Cancel palette. This for me will be an everyday neutral type of palette. 
I really love the mixture of warm and cool tones in this one. The last one that I've got is the Love Tapes palette. This is the one that's got um, eyeshadows and two highlighters. Very stunning romantic eyeshadow palette. Well, and that is it guys. That's all the eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. Some of which I've decluttered. So in this series, I think I've only decluttered two eyeshadow palettes. But um, I'm going to count how many eyeshadows I have all together and I will put it in the title of my um, eyeshadow collection so that you know how many to expect but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the series definitely give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please watch the other parts which I will link in the description box below but yeah let me know what you guys think are there any eyeshadow palettes that you want me to kick off with I do have some in mind but yeah thank you so much for watching all the parts and I will catch you guys in a future video. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today. And black lives will always matter. And thanks again for um, enjoying my passion with me. And I hope to see you guys in a future one. Bye. <laughs>